welcome to Ayim Live channel for another Awakened Chaos Era guide. In today's video, I'll be showing you a team that I used to speed farm adventure meeting using three uh, epic heroes and one elite hero. So let me show you the team. We head over to the adventure meeting. So Joseph will come in with the Sundari Purgatory with uh, applying two buff. You will apply the speed down, followed by Natalia with her arcane nova. Next, everyone down. Then Joseph will apply speed up buff on Natalia. He will come in with his ultimate, followed by Natalia Nuke. And finally, this will repeat the same thing as wave 1 without the Sundering Purgatory. This is on cooldown. And he manages to apply speed down on all enemies, which allows Natalia to come in, followed by Zlux to clear the remaining wave. This one only took like 51 seconds. The shortest battle I took was around 47 seconds. So the four heroes are Natalia, Joseph, Hugh, and Zlux. Natalia here is the AoE nuker for the team. She's the water element hero. She can help to clear uh, water enemies and fire enemies. Uh, next on the list is Joseph. She, he's the uh, buffer for this team. He will provide attack up buff and defense up buff for Natalia. So she can use it to deal extra damage through her trait. And the third hero here, we have uh, Hugh. He's here to deal AoE damage and as well as to apply the uh, speed down on the enemies. And finally, we have uh, Zlux. He's here to clear the remaining enemies that are left out by Natalia. Here are the spells. I have selected Gaius Renew Renewal to heal all team members and Sundering Purgatory to apply the defense down on all enemies. So currently in this team, I have three attackers and one buffer. So since there are no dedicated healer here, that's why I choose Gaia's Renewal. Let's see uh, them in action. Big battle. I'll put this on manual and one time speed so to explain to you guys how these heroes are synergized with each other. Joseph will start the battle first since I have equipped him with uh, the highest speed. So during an auto battle, he will apply this Sundering Purgatory on all enemies. I have his focus very high around 60 to 80% to be able to apply this defense down without them resisting it. And he will come in with his uh, ultimate ability improvisation which applies attack up and defense up for 3 turns on all allies all right so next one would be Hugh he's the second fastest in the team and currently as you notice inside the team sequence here the, the turn order Hugh will, will, will do his thing followed by all these enemies and Natalia and Zlux is at the end of the turn here. So in order to push uh, Natalia and Zlux after the enemies, you need uh, you will, will need to do his special ability Spiral Slash to apply the speed down on all enemies. However, it's only a 75% chance, but it's still useful to help your attackers to move up the turn. So during auto battle, the uh, the interesting part is he will use his special ability rather than his ultimate ability. So with this, he will run this a speed down. So there's only one enemy that, is, that does not have speed down. That's why that guy uh, uh, goes first and attacks uh, Zlux. And now the third hero on the team is Natalia. She will come in to nuke everyone with her Arcane Nova ultimate ability. And the most important thing is she needs to have at least 3 buffs to attack 4 enemies here. The extra buff that she obtained from this, which is the Im immune buff, is true from her passive skill, which is this one. Arcane Ward. So she must have at least 1 buff in order to trigger this passive skill. And in order, in order to speed run with uh, this team, she needs to have at least her uh, Ascension 2 trait unlocked to gain an extra 10% damage for every positive effect she has. So let's nuke everyone down. And since there's uh, one enemy left, Zlux will come in with his uh, ultimate ability, Feast of Carnage. And this skill will be reset because it's able to kill the enemy. 
Right, let's move on to the next wave. So since uh, Hugh's ability is already on cooldown, he will be using his ultimate ability instead of his special ability. So the good part of Joseph is, uh, on his basic uh, skill, Chan, which uh, attacks one enemy, it also applies speed up buff to the highest attack for to the highest attack ally for one turn. So he will do this instead of his uh, special ability inspiration, since there are no heroes here with a uh, debuff. So you should use this and attack a random hero here. And since Natalia has the uh, highest attack, she will gain this speed buff. And you notice that Natalia will go after, uh, will, will go after or before before Hugh. And as you notice, that Lux is at the corner here. So Hugh will perform his ultimate ability. Okay, followed by Natalia. So since Natalia was able to kill an enemy with her Arcanova ultimate ability, this ultimate ability is reset so she can reuse this ability again. So reuse, and the enemies here are all fire, then everyone here will be dead. Okay, moving on to the third wave. Here will be the same exact method with uh, how wave 1 is completed. So during wave 1, Joseph will use his ultimate ability again. Followed by Hugh, he will perform his spiral slash to inflict the speed down on all enemies. And as you notice, only two of them is uh, affected by this speed down. And Natalia and Zlax come in here again. So now she has three buff. You will perform her Akinova. And finally, Zlax will come in to clear all the remaining enemies here with his uh, Fist of Carnage. Right, uh, that's how the team works. So if you if you get Mitija as your legendary hero for the rookie summon, you can use this team instead to farm the higher stages of Adventure Mythic. So Joseph, the fastest in the team. So here are his total stats. He has over two. He has over two hundred speed, two hundred seven speed, close to nine thousand health, one thousand two hundred defense, and seventy five point five percent focus. The most important stats that you need to prioritize on him is speed and focus. Because since he's going first, right, you want him to have high focus to apply his to to apply the AOE defense down successfully without the enemies resisting them. Once you're able to achieve uh, these two speeds, basically you need above around about 160 speed uh, to go first in the battle for the adventure mythic. So once you achieve a high speed and focus on him, then the remaining stats you can distribute it into health and defense to increase his uh, survivability. So you can tank some damage from the enemy hits. Because the enemies in adventure mythic stage uh, chapter, 7, chapter 6 and chapter 10, they deal very a lot of damage. You can kill your hero within like 2 hits. So having a high amount of health and defense will be great. So the, so let me show you the gears. So currently the gears are not really leveled up until 12. Since these are just uh, not a great set. So these are my two Raider sets to provide him with additional 30 speed in total. So let me show you the gears. So for this, I have a Gear Dagger with a stat prioritize on focus and speed on health. I would like this to be like a health percentage so you can gain more health from that. And finally, we have a, a Broken Set Raptor Crown because I want to get his focus up. And next, on the equipment here, I have a radar code which provides some focus and critical rate. But the most important part is focus. It'd be nice to have a health and defense here and speed. And here I have a speed boots, a radar set. I have health percentage, some focus, and this too. Then we have a radar ring with a defense uh, primary stat that has a speed, critical damage, and focus. And finally, we have a 
focus pendant from a rich set. There's some health, agility, and defense. So his glyph is not totally maxed out. I have remaining one left here, which is a resistance and health. And the abilities here are all maxed out. Alright, so this is the first hero that goes in the battle. The second hero I have it will be Hugh. His main purpose is to apply the speed down through his uh, special ability here. So in order for him to consistently apply this speed down, without them resisting it, or prioritize on focus. So here are the total sets of Hugh. I have around about 2000 attack, close to 10,000 health, 172 speed, 100% critical rate, 189% critical damage, and 72.5% focus. I gave him in um, attack and critical damage with some attack, so he can deal some damage through his uh, AoE nuke from this skill. And he's not fully booked yet. This, uh, since the No Man's Land dungeon is not open for the wood, wood element, so I could not max out his skill. Okay, so here are the gears. I have equipped him in Terra set and Rage set. So the stats to prioritize on him will be speed and focus. Then the remaining one will be like attack, critical rate, and critical damage. So this is the weapon. I prioritize on the critical rate, speed, some health for him to survive, some focus to apply the speed down, critical rate, attack. This is a chest plate, some agility, critical damage, and critical rate. This is an attack boots, and since Hugh is quite fast because he has a very high speed sub, uh, speed stat, you do not need to gear him in uh, speed boots. He will benefit more from attack, so he can deal more damage from, from his skills. Next we have a critical rate ring, with some attacks, health and speed. And finally we have a focus uh, necklace, with some critical rate, critical damage and speed. He is not fully glyph out yet. I have remaining like defense, speed, and critical rate, which are not fully booked yet. Same goes with the ability. I still need to work on him. But he is quite good in this current state to help with the speed farming. It's essential he will need to unlock to 5, uh, five ascension to unlock the 100% chance to counter attack against any global enemies. Alright, so that's the second fastest hero in my team. The third hero would be Natalia. A flying book. So here are her total stats. I have around about 4,400 attack, 100% critical rate, 259% critical damage, and zero focus. She doesn't apply any de debuff negative effects, so focus is not important here. So once you are able to get high high amount of critical damage and crit uh, an attack, then you will need to focus on speed. Most of the enemies, I think, from Adventure Mythic Stage Chapter One to Chapter Six, the speed is around about 130, but over Chapter Six to Ten, the speed is like 140 or 150. So they uh, they're able to lap lap you or go after you. So you need to have her speed be higher. And if you do not have any good good uh, speed, speed gears, then you can use this team with a Joseph and Hugh. If you if you start out with the Metasia as your legendary hero. And this team is also quite good if you do not have a win strikes like here. To help you boost your, your team. Alright, so here are the gears for Natalia. Let's quickly go through them. The stats to prioritize on her will be attack, critical rate, critical damage, and speed. This is a perfect set. Uh, perfect gear with the perfect substats here. This is the helmet. Attack, critical rate, critical damage. This is the chest plate with the same stats. This is the attack boots. Um, health, agility, speed. This is not a really good set. Uh, Substats. This is the critical damage ring. With some health, critical rate, and resistance. 
And finally, we have uh, Attack Necklace. with some critical rate and critical damage. And she's fully glyphed out. And her ability as well. So for her ascension, you will need to have her to be ascended to second ascension. So she can unlock this trait to gain the bonus uh, damage through her trait. And if you do not have a uh, sufficient good substance for speed, you can unlock her ascension tree to get the additional 15 speed here. This one is also useful for Ash Magistra if you do not have suf sufficient speed to go after the first two waves of the, the mobs. So let me just show you quickly on the ascension stats. The next one would be health, defense, and health attack defense. Right, so that's Natalia. And finally, we have uh, Zlux. So here are Zlux total stats. I have him around about 3,700 attack. Close to 100% critical rate. But actually, you do not need to have 100% critical rate on him. You just need around 70%. Because he has his passive skill here, Assassin Training. Provide him with a 30% critical rate. And this is not calculated within his total stats. So uh, actually, you can give him 70% critical rate, would be sufficient. And he have around about 228% critical damage. He have zero focus, and the rest will be health and defense. Close to 10,000 health, 1,000 defense. He has almost 100% resistance to resist any enemies debuff. So here are his gears. I have equipped him with Brace Set and Warrior Set. Here are the equipment substats. We have a precision critical rate defense resistance. The helmet will prioritize our critical rate and attack. The split will be the same critical rate critical damage. This is an attack boot with some critical rate here. This is a critical damage ring with some attack. And this will provide him with a high amount of resistance. And we have an attack necklace with critical rate. Double flat stats on attack and some resistance. It will be better to have this with a critical damage and attack percentage. Uh, I mean critical damage and maybe precision to help him attack the enemy without them deflecting it. Okay, so here are his uh, glyphs and abilities are fully maxed out. So this uh, four heroes is quite good. You can run them without needing wind strikes in your team. The benefit of wind strike is she boosts everyone's speed with her roaring gale, so you do not need to like speed tune them within like a set certain sequence. But the downside of wind strikes is she she is a speed buff, right? Only lasts for the first turn. On the second turn, it will be disappeared, and the enemies can. Go after them if your heroes are not fast enough. So that's one downside of Urban Strikes. Unless you pair her with another hero that can eliminate that, that weaknesses. That's how my speed team works for Adventure Mythic, which is quite useful for those players who do not have uh, win strikes or players who start off with Mitasia as your rookie summon legendary hero. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you found this video helpful, click on the like button and subscribe to get notified on my latest uh, video uploaded in this channel. You can also comment below the video to share what are your team compositions that you use to speed farm uh, adventure meeting under one minute. Alright, thanks everyone and have a nice day. Bye.